Hey everybody, Jack Barnwell here on beautiful Mackinac Island. It is a stunning day in mid-July. We thought we'd dive back into this project we showed you earlier this spring when we had just started into it. We're now just finally getting back around to really um, finishing up and kind of the last phases of it. Thought it'd be really fun to show you through what we got going on, so let's dive in. All right, so this project up here on Mackinac Island has been uh, pretty fun because we literally started this spring from a complete and total blank canvas. It's a newer home that just got built, just got finished this spring, and we were brought in to, uh, to landscape it out. In our last video, we showed you guys of this place. We had the brick walkway done and, and some of the boulders set, but that's really it. So since then, we've planted all of the trees, we put in the irrigation system, the lighting, the shrubs, the perennials, and now we're getting ready for the whole ground cover uh, installation and annuals and real finish work. And really that's the order that an installation like this goes in for us. So the trees go in first, we've got some beautiful birch, amelanchier, maple, some clump birch here. This variety is called white spire. We use this one a lot, it's a really, uh, stunning specimen clump there um, but uh, so the trees go in first followed by the shrubs that really creates the shape of the landscape and the planting giving us our foundation and background and then all the perennial drifts as you can see we got a lot of hostas a still be a ton of ferns as we walk through here you'll see a lot of that it's a real woodland style planting and then um, the ground cover is going to be going in and as you'll see through here, I've got a bunch of different letters and things painted on the ground that represent different ground covers and different thoughts. I'll grab my paint as we go through this one. But uh, so this M here is for myrtle, flats of myrtle. They're just sitting up in here for now because actually all this ground cover that's laid out in the beds was thrown up in the bed so that the irrigation can cover it for a couple few days while we're waiting on some other material. What we're waiting on is over top of our soil, which is pretty rocky here. Um, we've mixed in a lot of compost and uh, a little bit of topsoil. So we've got a great, great planting mix here on this site, but um, all this ground cover has got to come off because our wood bark, shredded wood bark mulch goes down next. So it goes trees, shrubs, perennials, wood bark so this will be completely filled up with wood bark because this particular landscape has no lawn whatsoever so once the wood bark goes down then all these different intermixing and intertwining drifts of different ground covers will fill um, and it's not all planted ground cover so right here uh, this was just seeded and this whole drift right in the front here is a low growing uh, beautiful wildflower meadow. It's got a little bit of native grasses and sedges in it, but it's a, a really, really nice multi-season mix of low-growing wildflowers, about two feet high and less. And you can see it's just germinating. We've got a beautiful little haze of green uh, coming up. So this whole drift here uh, is gonna be just really stunning wildflowers right at the entry to the property. And the reason that we ended up doing that, the neighboring property doesn't really maintain that border or their, you know, their lawn area there in the front too much at all. And rather than trying to do anything that was uh, gonna compete with that or, or be dramatically different, we'll just blend into it and uh, you know, secretly threw a little wildflower seed onto their side as well. So this whole front will blend and, and really be in a lot more harmony with the, with the neighboring property and then the neighboring forest all around the whole landscape will blend really well with all those native wildflowers um, sort of drifting in and out of this landscape. So as we go through, you'll see there's different letters. I've got an A right here, that's for ajuga. There'll be a drift of ajuga there. Another M here for more myrtle. There's a P up here that's gonna be loaded up with pachysandra with a W for a sweet woodruff. I guess that could be a SW. 
SW, not to be confused with Southwest. Sweet Woodruff, I'll do a little Sweet Woodruff drift around that birch tree, which will be really, really pretty when it flowers white and dainty in the, uh, in the springtime. And then that Sweet Woodruff kind of drifting around those really, really nice red astilbes right there will be quite nice because those astilbes will bloom after the Sweet Woodruff is done. And in time, these astilbes will easily be able to be divided um, and we'll be able to just make this clump of them get even bigger and bigger right through this little section here with the sweet woodruff as the ground cover. And you'll notice all the perennials that we have in here are planted uh, a couple inches high right now. Um, and the reason for that is knowing that we have that mulch coming. So here we've got hostas, a stilby. They're all a little bit high and kind of floating up in because that mulch has got to come in, that wood bark and fill all these areas before we plant that ground cover right into it. And really this landscape will be so filled out and lush and gorgeous. Within a year, it'll look like it's always been here. Really, really impressive. And then of course, beautiful brass lighting to light this nice pathway through the woodland here is gonna be quite stunning. So as we go further toward the back, as you recall, when we, uh, did this walk through last time. I think I talked through some of these things that I was uh, intending to do here, but this um, mixed cedar hedge has lilacs dotted all throughout. These aren't that big, but they grow like a weed up here on the island. So we've got uh, three different varieties of lilac, dark purple, kind of your light purple and white. And uh, those are woven all through this cedar hedge and they'll just get big and wild and do their thing and kind of reach out over the, the, uh, the trail behind here and look really, really cool. Then in toward the back, that rock wall we showed you guys earlier. Um, once this gets finished out, this whole trailway around the property will be just wood chips, nice cedar, cedar mulch um, to, to keep a nice path around the house. And, uh, and again, these perennials are all planted out we'll get that uh, wood bark mulch. And in places like this, it's really hot and sunny right now. And this particular location does get quite a bit of sun. I do have a drift of a stilby in here. I think they're gonna be okay, especially on irrigation and stuff. But you can see we've got more daylilies and hardy geranium and stuff, um, more sun loving perennials, and there's more to come. Um, but these guys are planted in here because this bank does get a little bit more of this afternoon hot sun. Um, and so the ground cover through here will be a little different than in that woodland little oasis we walked through earlier. So this is gonna be more like uh, creeping mazis and sedums and stuff like that to have a little bit more of that heat and sun loving uh, uh, plant material in through here. Up here, we still have uh, a few pagoda dogwoods to come in and some smaller single stem birch that will blend into the woods behind here. And then again, you can see my little babies coming up. Uh, this awesome wildflower drift here all through this whole section, drifting into the forest is this native wildflower blend that's gonna be really neat as it transitions and blends with the forest. Ton of trillium uh, seed in here as well. And, uh, and there's trillium, as you remember from the first video, in the forest naturally already right in here. So this is just gonna really integrate and blend in beautifully. Uh, pretty excited about the way this one's coming together. We've got everything pretty well done. We just gotta mulch it, plant out all that small stuff that's almost all on site now. And uh, we should have this one wrapped up in the next day or two. Uh, so anyway, thank you guys so much. We'll see you in the next video. We are actually gonna head to another job site and check in on a whole bunch of loads of plant material that are getting delivered right now this afternoon. So we'll take you along with us, shoot another video, and that one will be up soon. See you guys later, cheers.